Deuteronomy 3.23 And I besought the Most High at that time, saying, That thou hast begun to show thy servant thy greatness and thy mighty hand. And what Elohim is there in heaven or in earth that can do according to thy works and according to thy might? I pray thee, let me go over to this good land that is beyond Jordan, that goodly mountain and Lebanon. But the Most High was angry with me for your sakes and would not hear me. And the Most High said unto me, Let it suffice thee. Speak no more unto me on this matter. Get thee up into Pisgah, and lift up thine eyes westward, and northward, and southward, and eastward, and behold with thine eyes. But thou shalt not go over Jordan, but charge Joshua, and encourage him, and strengthen him. And he shall go over before this people, and he shall cause them to inherit the land which thou shalt see. Does the Most High have to hear our prayers? Is it based on faith alone? The answer is no. It's not an easy task for your prayers to come before the Most High. We have to make requests to him according to his will. Moses was loved, handpicked by the highest, and was begging to cross Jordan to walk on the land that was promised to the children of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Moses had suffered with the children of Israel 40 years in the wilderness, heard their complaining, did many things that was asked of him. But because he broke this one commandment, he had to receive the punishment. So the answer to his prayer or request was no. The highest told him not to ask again. This is 1 John 5:14, And this is the confidence that we have in him, that if we ask anything according to his will, he hears us. 1 John 3, 22. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him, because we keep his commandments and do those things that are pleasing in his sight. John is explaining how prayer works. Again, this is the New Testament. The first step in having your prayers heard is compliance with the commandments. Many people jump over scriptures they don't like and block them out. If you ask him for something that's against his will, your prayer will go unanswered. How will you know his will if you have not read for yourself? For those who break the commandments, your prayers have a high possibility of going unanswered. Proverbs 28, 9 He that turns his ear from hearing the law, even his prayer shall be an abomination. This is Deuteronomy 34, starting with verse 5. So Moses, the servant of the Most High, died in the land of Moab, according to the word of the Most High. And he was buried in the valley of the land of Moab against Beth Peor. But no man knows of his sepulcher until this day. And Moses was a hundred and twenty years old when he died. And his eye was not dim, nor his natural force abated. And the children of Israel wept for Moses in the plains of Moab thirty days. So the days of weeping and mourning for Moses were ended. And Joshua the son of Nun was full of the spirit of wisdom, for Moses had laid his hands on him, and the children of Israel listened to him, and he did as the Most High commanded Moses. There was not a prophet since in Israel like unto Moses, whom the Most High knew face to face, and all the signs and all the wonders which the Most High sent him to do in the land of Egypt, to Pharaoh and to all his servants and to all his land. And in this mighty hand, all the great terror which showed in the sight of all Israel. The Most High loved Moses. He told Moses secrets that he didn't reveal to other people. Yet the Most High punished Moses for breaking his commandment. He died in the land of Moab according to what the word of the Highest said. It doesn't really matter whether we like it or not. It's just how it works. We have to play by the rules. Think about engaging in a competition and no one explains to you the rules. How long is it before frustration sets in and you quit? So now we have the rules, we obey them, and then we can succeed. This is 2 Ezra 14, starting with verse 3. 2 Ezra is found in the Apocrypha. the 1611 King James Version. Then he said unto me, In the bush I did manifestly reveal myself unto Moses, and talked with him when my people served in Egypt. And I sent him and led my people out of Egypt, and brought him up in the mount, where I kept him by me a long season. 
40 days and 40 nights and told him many wondrous things and showed him the secrets of time and the end and commanded him saying, these words shalt thou declare and these shalt thou hide. Moses knew things that he wasn't allowed to reveal to anyone else. He knew secrets, yet he was not above punishment for disobedience to the commandments. Then so none of us are above punishment for disobedience. Yet people today believe they can do whatever they want and the Most High has to answer their prayers. I hear people praying with such pride, energy, and passion as if they can move the Most High into action with their speech. But they have not read and refused to obey the commandments. Neither have they checked to see if they have the right to approach Him. Joshua 24, 19 And Joshua said unto the people, You cannot serve the Most High, for He is a holy Elohim. He is a jealous Elohim, and He will not forgive your transgressions nor your sins. If you forsake the Most High and serve strange Elohim, He will turn and do you hurt and consume you after He has done you good. And the people said unto Joshua, Nay, but we will serve the Most High. And Joshua said unto the people, You are witnesses against yourselves that you have chosen to serve the Most High. And they said, We are witnesses. Joshua is warning the people based on his experiences that he had had in the past with the highest, as a good lawyer would. He warned his clients that they were entering a contract, and he advised them on the penalties of breaking such contract. Joshua knows he will not forgive your transgressions. In other words, breaking the highest commandments must be punished today, tomorrow, who knows? 1 Peter 3, 5 For after this manner, the old time, the holy women also, who trusted in the Most High, adorned themselves, being in subjection to their own husbands. Even Sarah obeyed Abraham, calling him Lord, whose daughters ye are, as long as you do well, and not are afraid of with any amazement. Likewise, you husbands, dwell with them according to knowledge, giving honor unto the white, as unto the weaker vessel, and as being heirs together of the grace of life, that your prayers be not hindered. I love reading New Testament scriptures to show people that nothing has changed regarding the non-sacrificial laws from the Old Testament. The laws, statutes, and commandments are still intact. Peter is saying to women, subject yourselves to your husband like Sarah did, calling him Lord. Peter says to the husband, honor your wives because they are the weaker vessel. Failure to meet these requirements will cause your prayers to be hindered or blocked. Jeremiah 11:14 Therefore pray not for this people either lift up a cry or prayer for them for I will not hear them in the time that they cry unto me for their trouble for those who know and understand that the Israelites prayers have gone unanswered for hundreds of years yet we approach the highest with pride in groups and loud shouting as if this will change anything the most high is telling Jeremiah not to waste time praying for people he has planned to destroy people who refuse to keep his commandments. Micah chapter 6, starting with 8. He has showed thee, O man, what is good, and what does the Most High require of thee, to do justly, and to love mercy, and to walk humbly before thy Elohim. All these are code words for the commandments, to do justly, to love mercy. All of those are the commandments. When you study them, you'll see that. 1 Peter 5, 6. Humble yourselves. Therefore, under the mighty hand of Elohim, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care on him, for he careth for you. To care about the Most High is to keep his commandments. We see the Old Testament with Micah, and we see the New Testament Peter saying the same thing. To walk humbly before the Most High. Humbly means the commandments. To sum up everything, the Most High does not have to hear us. We should approach him with humility, meekness, and privately. Then maybe our prayers have a shot of being heard. There are many examples of prayers being answered in the scriptures. My suggestion is to review and study their examples and follow them to the letter. We have examples such as Solomon, David, Gideon, Jehoshaphat, and many others. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like,
share, and comment down below.